What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my Minecraft FTB Infinity server. My name is Middle Name Orion, and we're going to get going with our Let's Play. This is going to be episode four, and it looks like we have some berries to collect, some reeds, which I planted last time, and then some new things to show you. First, though, let's sleep, because I hate the night. The night brings bad things. Bad things can stay awake. Bad. That's why they're called bad. They're bad things. Okay. So we're going to pick our berries, and I'm going to create... Ooh. Nice. New berries for us. I'm going to create some more food. I have already all the berries that I have saved up. Eight more. Bam. Tons of food. So much food, in fact, that we're going to put some away, as well as our juicer. So, let's carry about half of that with us. And we're also going to stick some sand in there to smelt, because I want some more glass. And let's see, what else is there to do? Well... I grabbed some of my redstone over here, and remember last time how we upgraded our Tinker's Pick with our Diamond and our Emerald to make it more durable and make it be able to mine obsidian? Well, now I put some redstone on it. I had one more modifier slot, which lets me put 50 redstone. This is the very last redstone. Grab it. It gives me haste. So before I had around 4 of a mining speed, and now I have 8.82. That is significantly better. That'll be much quicker, and it'll make it far less boring for you guys to watch me dig stuff, because it'll go much quicker. So, my main goal today is to go ahead and continue to harvest as much of this or these reeds as I can, because I want to make paper, because I want to make some enchanting tables. Yes, that's why we went out last time and grabbed that cow leather. Why we grabbed those reeds? Because we had the diamonds, we have four extra, so I'm actually going to make two enchanting tables. You may be asking yourself, why is he going to make two? Are you dumb? You only need one. But no, I need two because an enchanting table is also used in crafting something else. Now, in between this episode and last, I dug out this little room as well as plant these. And I went down in my mind and grabbed those because I happened to find them on the other side of the cave. I'm going to go down there and show you what else I found in a little bit. But on that other side of the cave... I grabbed these, and I grabbed 18 obsidian. Why 18? Because 18 is the exact number I need for two enchanting tables and one nether portal. That's the other goal of this episode. I'm going to make a nether portal. So, first things first, let's go ahead and grab some more reeds now. I have my plants and things and plants and other things in here. That's right, double the plants for your viewing pleasure. And I'm going to go ahead and create some paper. Now that's just three reeds across on the bottom. If you didn't know that, why didn't you know that? You should have been paying more attention. And looking randomly at Minecraft with these to figure out what everything makes. You have all of this stuff memorized. I'm a little disappointed you don't. So we are going to grab some leather from our... Yeah, from this chest. So I'm going to need... Let's see, let's just create three books for the fun of it. And we're going to go uh, bam, 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 and bam. Bam! Books. Now, I can make my enchanting tables. So, let's make two. And this is how you make an enchanting table, in case you had no idea. And I am now like your messiah, because I instantly knew that off the top of my head. No one else in the world knows how to do that off the top of their head. That's right. You heard it here first. Okay. So, we're going to set down this enchanting table somewhere. Well, one of the enchanting tables. And, um, let's set it down, like, right here. You'll see why I set it right there later. I'm actually going to put bookshelves around this. This will raise the level of enchants that I can do with this enchanting table. Hopefully you already knew that. For those of you who didn't, now you know. So, we're going to use this other enchanting table. But, to use this other enchanting table for what I want to use it for, we're going to need uh, something else. I want to make a chunk loader. A chunk loader will basically load the current chunk that we're in, but it'll load it at all times because we're on a server, and the server keeps running while we're gone. Unfortunately, for stuff and things to be happening in this chunk, it has to be loaded. Now, a player automatically will load a chunk, but when you log out, if there's no one else around, that chunk's not going to be loaded. Now, if you put this item there, it will. So we need five gold, which we have, that enchantment table. Now you see why I made two. But we need an ender pearl, and I do not believe we have an ender pearl. Well, let's go ahead and grab out one, two, three, four, five. So there's that. Now... Here is my drops chest, and obviously there's no ender pearl in it, so we're going to have to go grab an enderman. Maybe I shouldn't have slept earlier. That probably wasn't the best choice. So, in a little while, we will go grab that ender pearl and make that chunk loader, but for right now, let's go ahead and also make a nether portal. Now, where do I want to make this nether portal? Let's see. 
in here is going to have some bookshelves. They're going to come out to about right there. I actually want the ability to kind of close off this nether portal. Let's do it down here, actually. Let's go a little bit down here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of a little bit. And dig in here. And I'm going to make this just large enough to set another portal. So I'm actually going to dig out the pretty much the exact dimensions you need. So you need two, well, you only need two on the bottom, and then you need three up, and then you need two over. So I'm getting, let's see, we're going to go one, two, on the bottom. This is going to be a little off kilter because it's only uh, two wide, but I actually need this to be four wide because it'll be two on the bottom, but then these others will be on the side of it. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, and one, two. Now I have no more obsidian. I need a flint and steel to light this, but flint and steel well flint and iron really I don't know why we call it flint and steel probably because there is no steel except there is in this version of my the Minecraft so we're gonna go grab a flint we have an iron we can make a flint and steel to set things on fire and run around like a crazy pyromaniac and generally just have fun with fire just like every small child should do remember small children play with fire it's good for you it makes your bones strong so now that we have that I'm going to go make a door, which I should have done first, but oh well. We like to live on the edge. So, let's grab some wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's five, not six. Learn to count. Okay. So let's make ourselves an ugly door. That's right. Those are the pretty doors, by the way. Well, semi-pretty. We're going to call them the semi-pretty doors. You know, it's, it's like people. There's many different variations of pretty. We're going to stick a door, like, right there. Yeah, that works. It's flush. It's nice. Now, if anything comes through that portal, even though nothing should, because I don't believe that portals chunk load. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. But anything that happens to come through there, if we're in the base, or if we're in the nether, um, it won't wander into our little stairway, and it also, because we have this door here, won't wander up into our base, because that would be bad. There are very bad things in modded Minecraft nether. So, we're going to pick a couple more berries. We're going to pick some of these. These are experienced berry bushes. I don't know if I explained that or not. I don't believe I did. And these are like liquid goodness. They taste like creeper by their description. And, mmm, look at that. It gave me a little experience. It's basically like a berry for your health, but for your experience. They're super handy. And if you just constantly pick the little bit that ends up growing from the bushes that you find, you'll find you have a backlog of berries, and if you have a backlog of berries, it makes enchanting very, very easy because you never have to find yourself running around at night being like, I just need a little more experience! Because you don't need that little more experience. You have it in a chest. You heard it here first. Experience in a chest. Okay. So, now that I stopped driving out, remember where my tool chest is. We're gonna go bam. And we're gonna go... Bam. Okay. Now, I still need that ender pearl. And it is still not nighttime. What time is it? It is. The sun is setting. It is like, uh, what is that? Like, three hours to sunset? What is that? Minecraft? Like, I don't know. Five o'clock, we'll say. It's five o'clock. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's the saying, right? Um, now, we have that, we have that. We're gonna go down this stairway, and I'm gonna show you the pretty thing I found. It makes me very happy, but I wanted to show you guys on camera. It scared the bejesus out of me. That's right, the bejesus. When I first found it, because there was a lot of bad things. Bad things were attacking me. I almost died. I was down to half a heart, and, and then I wasn't because I was intelligent and I ate, which was surprising. I know. I was surprised as well about the intelligent part. You, you know what I mean. But I found a spawner. A zombie spawner. There was a lot of zombies. There was a witch. That's why I went down to have a heart. I'm not that bad at this game. Zombies aren't at that terrible. But look what was in the chest. <laughs> a portal gun. And some pages for Mistcraft. We are going to get into Mistcraft because Mistcraft is amazing. And some more blood magic-y stuff. I've never played with that mod, but I'm going to grab it anyways. And now we have a portal. 
Portal guns are awesome. We have two portals in the back. See? Portal, portal. Two portals! And then I can go, whee! And hop out of the other one. Yes. Super fun, super useful, especially if you're traveling. Put a portal in your base. Go traveling. When you want to get back, put a portal somewhere, jump through it. Very handy. Also, portal guns can be used to pick up things. Press the good old handy dandy G button on your keyboard and you can pick up blocks and move them. You can also do fun fancy things like block throwing contests. If you're not a derp and drop it before you throw it. So watch. Whoa. That was cool, guys. Okay. Yeah. You can throw blocks. It's really cool. You can throw mobs. You can pick up mobs. You just can't pick up other players. Which is a good thing because it keeps trolls from being trolls and trolling. Yes. That is exactly what it keeps you from doing. So, we're going to go back upstairs now that we got those fun stuff and things. I keep saying stuff and things. I've been watching too much Slipgator. Slipgator is amazing. If you don't know who he is, shame on you. You should watch him. But watch me first. No, really. Watch me first. I'm greedy like that. So, we're going to go back upstairs. It's going to be probably, again, the most exciting part of this video. I know how much you guys like climbing stairs. That's everyone's favorite activity. And I get a lot of requests for it, honestly. Like, I don't get pretty much any other requests except to climb stairs. It's kind of weird. It's like you guys have a fetish or something. So, we're going to get up and peek in our little purple portal. Swirly purple portal of purpleness. And we're going to go back up. I do like these doors. These semi-pretty doors. They are nice. So, eh. Those can stay there for now. We have plenty of food. So, now that we have our portal gun, we might be getting dark? Yes, we're getting dark. Okay, now, we have... Iron Helmet. Although, it's just now getting dark. So, maybe, just maybe, we should put some low-level enchants. I don't want to waste all my levels, even though I might die and lose them all anyways. So, we're going to go bam, 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 bam. Get naked. Everybody's naked. Everybody's happy. Yes, that's what, that's exactly what. Eh, maybe I'll just use all these levels. Um, for right now, I'm going to put low-level enchants on, oh, on breaking. That doesn't help at all. Low-level enchants on my kind of crappy gear, like my boots, my helmet, um, oh wait, I can't even put level 30 enchants, so I'm just gonna put big enchants on them. Protection 1, that didn't help putting a big enchant at all. And protection 1, well, these protection 1s will help. So, let's put something on our sword now, wait, oh, I guess you can get up to 8 in this new version. I was watching a UHC where they were doing a, a version in a 1.25 or something like that of Minecraft, and... They could only go up to level 5 with a basic enchanting table, but I can go up to level 8 because I'm special. That's right, that's the reason. It's because I'm special. There's actually special code in the game of Minecraft that allows only me to go up to level 8, see? And it gives me really good enchants, like Bane of Arthropods. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, enchanting table. Screw you. Anyways, let's go outside and not kill spiders. So... We want to kill Endermen. Now, the best way to kill Endermen is not to be a derp about it. Let's actually put away this. Uh, put away some of these specialty things. Put our armor on us. And then use this as kind of a dump chest. So we're just going to dump some stuff in here. Otherwise, we could lose it and die like an idiot. So, we're going to go out here. We're going to put some blocks on our bar and search for an Enderman to kill. Killing Enderman is fun. I have no idea how long this video has been, and I think I'm a derp and forgot to start the timer. But, oh well. We're just gonna roll with it. I think I might, uh, try and end this video when I successfully get an Ender Pearl, which, you know, will be super soon because I'm that good at Minecraft. Ooh, that guy's really scary looking. It's, it's like one of those new Blaze thingies. It's like, yeah. I, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce their names because they're very strange names and I sound like a derp when I say them. So, Enderman, Enderman, where the hell are you, Enderman? I need an Enderman. Come to me. Come to me, Enderman. You know you want to. Give me your your round, hard innards. I, I actually don't know if they're hard. Oh, shit, Creeper! Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God! Oh, God, Skelly. Okay, okay, we're okay. Just don't shoot me off the cliff. And, and if you do, shoot me into water, please. Um, we're just gonna run around kind of like a madman till we see an enderman and we're gonna attack its feet because if you attack the feet of an enderman he's less likely to teleport away and that's really handy because I, I don't like when they teleport it's kind of annoying um I probably shouldn't have dropped down so much because now I'm sort of stuck 
at the bottom of a hill and it's going to be a boring climb up. You guys are going to be like, man, you're boring climbing up. That's, in fact, that's what you were going to say, quite literally. I'm, I'm kind of a person who reads the future. I read it only, though. I can't view it, only reading. It's like a really boring newspaper. Okay, so. Oh, it's faster just to jump, I think. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, so I still am, have yet to see an Enderman on my mini-map. Come on, Enderman. Come out and play. I'm a fun guy to play with. Not in a creepy sexual way, but in like that fun murder your face way. You know you like the murder your face way. Okay, strafe and die and get shot in the air while jumping like a derp. Okay, and... They're dead for no reason because it didn't really need to kill them. I could have ran right by them, but it doesn't matter. We really need to find an enderman. I really would like an ender pearl. I don't want to have to go get an ender pearl off camera. Ah, creepers. I don't like you, creeper. What are you? A zombie. Ooh, you have a pretty hat. You have a dude with a hat and a block of diamond? God, that guy puts way too much stuff on his head. You don't need that much stuff on your head to be cool. Remember that, guys. If you're wearing a hat, that's enough. I mean, a hat's already pushing it. Like, some people can pull it off, some people can't. Not everyone should wear a hat. But no one should wear a hat and something else on top of the hat. That's overkill. You're seeking attention way too much. Seriously, don't do it. That's another rule of life. Okay. Obviously, I'm not finding an Enderman here, and I'm getting a little bit annoyed. Let's see. I don't know how long this episode has been, so let's do some quick math. Let's see. I slept. That was probably 30 seconds. It's been a whole day. That's 10 minutes. It's been about half a day. That's 15. We'll go until sunup. Sunup should be about 20 minutes. Yes, that's my, my great math. Watch. It'll end up this video is like 10 minutes too long. But I don't care. I just want an Enderman. Hey, look. Billy. In case you didn't know how much Billy likes to jump on mud. It's, it's a lot, but you have to smack him with a sword because it, it kind of brings him to a sin. No, Billy! Oh, sometimes he disappears. Yeah, Billy disappears, and he comes back again. I know this because there's lots of Billys. See? Billy! Oh, God. Billy! I told you not to blow up. It gets stuff everywhere. <sighs> so insensitive. Okay. Um, I need... An Enderman. Ah! Spitter! Get away, Spitter! I need an Enderman. What's slime one do? Not really, because it's not like they're interchangeable, but... They're... I like slimes, too! That gives me some slime balls. And I think I'm taking damage from behind, from other things I can't tell. Oh, God, Creeper! Billy's! No! Billy! What the hell, man? I thought you better than that. You didn't even leave any, any fun things for me. Billy. Ha! Another Billy! Die, Billy! Ah, uh, an Enderman! On the mini-map! Guys! 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 Maybe girls! We're gonna go kill one. Maybe. Wait. Where's the Enderman? Oh, there you are! Couldn't see you. You hid in the plants. Let's attack your feet! Attack your feet! And hopefully not die! Attack your feet! Yes! Yes! And they're pearl! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I got one! Now, I can make my chunk loader. Guys, I can make a chunk loader. Okay, so, it's almost daytime. Oh, geez. As long as I don't die to a spider, I think I'm going to end the episode about here in a scary place. So, we're going to go off camera, back to the house. We're going to put together that chunk loader. And I will show you exactly how to make that chunk loader in about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Bam! Okay, that was five seconds. Don't get mad at me. But... That's how you make the chunk loader, because I'm going to make it off camera. And now that I have everything, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't mind, you don't have to. I mean, you probably won't, like, like I'm me. But I would love it if you did. So, remember, have a great day. I've been Middle Name Orion, and I'll see you in the next episode.